Hi there, Dr. Brian Hebelin here with Lex and ENT and Allergy. And today I'm gonna to discuss um, problems with parathyroid glands. So in our lower neck, we have the thyroid, uh, and talked about on another video. And just behind the thyroid, we have a, a very small, we have four actually, very small glands called the parathyroids. These glands are responsible in large part for our calcium metabolism. And so abnormalities in the parathyroids often lead people to have high blood levels of calcium, called hypercalcemia. And most often this gets picked up on routine blood work. So someone gets blood work for whatever reason and their calcium levels are elevated. The most common reason for someone to have hypercalcemia is a parathyroid condition, although there are a lot of other reasons that uh, need to be checked out first. But if the high calcium, or if the calcium is high, usually a physician will check what's called a parathyroid hormone level. And if that parathyroid hormone level, along with calcium, is elevated on two subsequent labs, just to make sure there wasn't some lab error, then it's very likely that the person has a problem with their parathyroid glands. The most common condition of the parathyroids that causes this is a parathyroid adenoma. That is a benign tumor of one of those four parathyroid glands where the gland gets enlarged and it secretes more hormone than it's supposed to. And the treatment of choice for that is to remove that offending parathyroid gland. As otolaryngologists, we typically like to know which of those four glands is the problem so we can do a little more directed focus surgery. You don't always um, the studies don't always indicate which gland, but most often they're able to pick out which of the four glands is the problem so we can very uh, like smart focus to go in and remove that one gland and reduce the complications and the incision size and the morbidities associated with surgery if that's required. Usually with removal of the gland, you correct the problem and calcium um, can go back to normal. Why do we care if your calcium's up? Well. The calcium goes up in the blood because the, the parathyroid hormone, too much of parathyroid hormone, actually causes the calcium to be uh, stolen from the bones. And so people will have some bone density loss. They will have many times some bone pain associated with that. People with uh, hypercalcemia often have some abdominal issues. Many times they can even have some memory issues or uh, depression, fatigue. And so there's a wide range of symptoms that high calcium can give you and those symptoms can be corrected with removal of the parathyroid if that is the condition you indeed have. Um, you definitely want to see somebody that does a, a reasonable amount of parathyroidectomies. Um, there are a lot of surgeons that do some of these, but if the more you do, the better you are at them and the better your outcomes are with typically lower complication rates. So. If you have a problem with hypercalcemia and then specifically hyperparathyroidism, um, we'd love to see you here at Lexington ET and Allergy and we often take care of these problems very successfully.